demonstrating the versatility of integrating this new game-changing technology into the hydrogen and energy infrastructure. The integration may initially start at fueling stations, on-site train and bus fueling facilities, and gradual replacement of power stations, fossil fuel burners. Since the system is relatively simple to install, the possible integration of and change over to satellite power facilities would be rapid, gradually reducing the need for power transmission lines, substations, and transformers, therefore realizing huge financial savings to the energy industry. Erecting a small building at a local park or recreational facility, or utilize an existing building site. The only building requirements is roof ventilation. Each site can be up and running rapidly, ready to tap into existing power feed to the allocated block of houses. The station can run on grid support mode first, then after a quality control period, the main grid can be disconnected from the self-supporting circuit. While the main grid is in place, the option to use it as a backup will exist. Standalone stations with no external power can receive the initial kickstart with a carry-on bottle of gas. The satellite station can also fuel residents' hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, the car of the 21st century. And while fueling your car, you can also charge up other appliances powered by hydrogen, all of which are currently being developed to supersede battery technology. A system so small that a building smaller than a two-car garage will house the facility to power 40 houses and fuel residents' cars. The same infrastructure can be initialized at commercial and industrial locations. Apartments, hotels, and motels, where also the hot water takeoff can be used to help supply utility hot water or heat swimming pools. The double unit installation powered by its own energy will fuel residents' cars for the week's motoring. That equates to the complete fueling of 56 cars per week, giving each car 300 miles of motoring in addition to powering the 40 houses or a 20-unit installation at a medium-sized fuel station or larger area satellite station can produce enough to fuel 96 cars per day or generate 680 kilowatt hours of energy. Whatever the application, hydrogen is the ultimate renewable fuel. Stripped from water and when consumed, it converts back to water with an endless cycle. It does not have the spillage and leak issues that petrol, diesel, and LPG have, therefore making unmanned satellite stations as safe as present gas supply in your homes. At last, we have the technology that can accelerate the hydrogen infrastructure to overlap and compensate for the ever-depleting fossil fuel supply. Hydrogen will soon be the predominant fuel. The question is, whose name is going to be associated with the technology that paves the way to our future energy supply? To learn more, visit the H2 Innovation Lab website.